Tonight I'm making lemon scones with a blueberry lemon topping. It's going to be a little bit different. You can have it for dessert after dinner or for breakfast or even for a picnic tomorrow afternoon. This is just an all-around great little dessert and I think you're going to like it. Starting with two cups of self-rising flour, we're going to add one cup of Splenda, a teaspoon of salt, and a single packet of a sugar-free lemonade drink mix. And we're going to mix all those together. For that added lemon taste, we're going to zest in part of a lemon. Now, the important thing you have to pay attention to is you have to wash your lemon. Okay? This lemon was probably growing someplace down in Florida, up on a tree, bugs crawling on it. Wait! We got to take care of those bugs. We got to spray it with insecticide. The wind's blowing. The dust is hitting it. Particles from wherever landing on your lemon. Along comes a crew, and they're picking that fruit and they're grabbing that lemon off the tree. The guy's scratching his butt and everything else, grabbing your lemon, throwing it in a case, which gets put on a trailer. That trailer gets hauled through the field with dust and garbage blowing all over the place and into the factory where it gets boxed up and gets shipped to you in a semi-truck, sits in a warehouse someplace, dusty, dirty, probably bugs crawling all over it, into the store. The guy throws it up on the shelves. you got probably 50 people touching that lemon before you get to it with their hands that you don't know where they've been. And at no point is that lemon washed. So do yourself a favor. Wash that lemon. When I was working in the restaurants, I would talk to people all the time about the fact that that lemon was never washed and you wanted us to cut it up and drop it in your water. The most unsanitary thing I can possibly imagine. So we're just going to zest that lemon in. We want the oils and stuff off the peel. And we're going to do about half the lemon. And the other half we're going to put into the blueberry topping. Those oils have a lot of flavor in them. And will really spark up your scone. Grab our grater, and now we're going to put in a half a cup of frozen butter. Grated finely, grated long. I've talked about this in other recipes. You want your butter cold, so frozen is perfect. And then you can grate it up finely. And as you're going, Pull the grater out, toss that curled butter up into the flour so it gets covered so it mixes in much better. And grate the rest in. Once you get all your butter incorporated into the flour, we can add our liquid. We're going to start with a half a cup of milk. We may need a little more. We'll see. We want this to pull together, but we don't want it too wet for what we're doing. Half 
as always, a little bit at a time. I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is the part that always requires a lot of work because it doesn't seem moist but there may be enough moisture in there. You got to kind of break up those clumps and get the dried flour mixed in. And you don't want to get in there with your hands until the last minute. You don't want it warm. The butter should stay cold. I think that's starting to pull together nicely. Now we can get in there with our hands and try and bind it all together. See how that pulls together with just the moisture that we've got? They're still just a little crumbly, but it's holding together nicely so we can work that dough. And we're going to dust that. Because we're going to need to roll out this dough. Get it to pull together the best we can. A little bit of flour on a rolling pin and on the top here. Now this is going to be a little bit thinner than a normal scone that I would make because we're going to layer it. And then we're just going to cut out our scones. Now we can pull up all the extra. And kind of reuse that if we don't get it too warm. I'm going to dust up here a little bit. So you got six there. Now the ones we still have on the lower part of the board here, once we get everything away. We're going to cut holes in them. Now I've got one egg that we're going to beat up nicely 
add a little splash of water. And we're going to put these scones together. With your brush, just brush the top. Add one of the rings to the top. And then we'll brush that too. This will help brown and it will seal the two pieces together as you're baking. I'm my cast iron pan that has been heating in the oven at 350. A little spray oil on that to keep these scones from sticking. They usually don't because of the butter content in them. But better safe than sorry. With the hot pan it also makes them nice and crispy on the bottom which I like. So we just rearrange our scones around the pan. Don't worry if you can't get all the scones into your pan because you can just bake another batch. Let them sit on the counter while the first one's baking. You can get them close, but maybe not too close because they are going to rise. Now this is going to just go back in that 350 oven. Now in the saucepan, on a medium, medium low heat, I've got two cups of blueberries. I'm using frozen because that's what I've got in the house right now. So you just have to warm them and cook them down. You don't want to cook them too hot. This is a semi-slow process, but you have the time while your scones are in the oven to work on it. To my blueberries, I'm going to add a tablespoon of butter and let that melt down. I'm going to zest off the rest of this lemon into our blueberries and butter. And no, we're not wasting the rest of the lemon because we're going to cut off the cheeks and add about half that lemon juice into our blueberries. Now we're just adding the lemon juice from the cheeks. You just cut out the side of the lemon to avoid the seeds and everything. And I'm going to take and just toss that in. And mix it up. That little chunk of lemon we threw in there is going to come out. But if we can get a little extra flavor out of it, why not? Now to that. A teaspoon of vanilla to smooth it out nicely. Three quarters cup of Splenda. We want our filling kind of nice and sweet. And you're going to get a little bite from the lemon, so this will help even it out. A half teaspoon of salt. Salt always makes desserts taste better. And two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is going to help thicken our sauce up as it cooks down. 
because we don't want something runny. We want to be able to scoop it out there and put it on top of our scones. Now you can turn this down a little bit more. You don't want it bubbling up too much. You'll end up scorching it on the bottom. And we just want to slowly cook down the blueberries and meld everything together. Now that's thickening up nicely. Another minute or two and it should be perfect. Then we can just scoop it out and drop it in the center of those scones. Now after 30 minutes in the oven, we can get these scones off the pan, get them on a cooling rack. And then the extra scones that you had, you can start laying them on the pan and get them right into the oven. Oh, the smell is fantastic. Looks great. Mmm. Taste. Unbelievable. You're going to love these.